Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I want to talk to you a little bit about your independent work for this week and walk you through all of the directions. So the, what you see here first is a little checklist outlining the different steps, the tasks that you need to complete. And as you finish one, you have little check marks that you can click and move and drag over to the box just so you can keep track of what tasks you have finished and what tasks you have yet to do. So to start with, first, it says respond to the Let's Talk About It Flipgrid question. So if you click this link, it will bring you to our Flipgrid, which looks like this, which is our Let's Talk About It question of the week. So this week, our question is, in your opinion, which is the best Starburst flavor or color and why? So you're gonna record a Flipgrid question, giving your answer, and also make sure you don't forget to explain why. Next, you'll listen to the other Flipgrids that have been recorded. And last, you'll pick one Flipgrid to respond to. You can do this either through video or using the typing feature. In your response, use the accountable talk strategies to push your peers' thinking. Say you agree with something, you disagree because, maybe ask them to clarify something or add on to their thinking. So that's step number one. Step number two is to make sure you have finished and turned in your refugee for chapters four through six. Many of you finished this in class last week, but if this is something that you still need to finish, you should take this opportunity to do that and make sure you've hit the turn in button. Number three on our list is our reading challenge board, which we started on Monday or Tuesday in class, depending on what group or day you attend language arts. If you didn't finish that reading challenge board and added it to your website, you should finish that also. You did have 40 minutes in language arts class to start and work on this, so hopefully you got a really good start on it and you just need to finish up um, the last couple of steps. Finally, we have our empathy map. Um, in class, we talked about the word empathy and what that means, and at the end of that class, I talked to you about how we're going to use empathy to help us um, develop empathy for our characters through the use of an empathy map. So before we do that with Refugee, we, Ms. Fox and I really wanted to make sure that you had an opportunity to practice with a smaller text. So first, you're going to click this link, which will bring you to a Scholastic article about um, an immigrant whose name is Taylor. You are going to read this little um, article about Taylor. You can watch his video in just a little bit here, and then you can see that it goes on to page two and three down here at the bottom. So you will read that um, article, a little bit of information about Taylor. It gives you some information of where he's from, where he lives, and then you're going to come here and you're going to complete our empathy map. Step one on our empathy map, you can see, is to look at our examples. On the text side, you are going to pick a direct quote or sentence from the article that you can connect to. Um, and you're going to copy and paste that direct quote here and put quotation marks. So you're going to do that for two different times. On the empathy map side, you will type in the box next on the other side your reactions, your connections to that direct quote. So if you look at my example, it says, my little brother is not as happy because he does not speak as well and he has trouble doing homework. On my example side, I on my empathy map side, I say, this is a window for me because I also struggle to complete my homework and I can't imagine doing it without knowing a lot of English. So I've never gone to another country and lived there where I don't know the language, so I can't connect to that, but I can connect to having trouble doing things and things being hard. Everyone has done something and it is hard or been a little bit of a challenge. So that's my connection. So that's my focus. And then I, being able to struggle with doing something and then not know the language must be really tough. So you're gonna react to or can make a connection to two different sentences from this article. What we have over here on the side are empathy map sentence starters that you can use to help you. When this happened, I felt because this is a window for me because, this is a mirror for me because, or I can't believe blank because. You can pick any of these to use, but what I want you to notice is the word because at the end of each of them. So you are going to write some, your reaction, your connection, and then a reason why, some explanation. So you're gonna do that twice. So quote number one, empathy connection on the other side. Quote number two, empathy connection number two. Okay, so again, first respond to the Flipgrid question. 
Next, make sure Refugee Chapters 4 through 6 is completed and turned in. Then, make sure your Reading Challenge Board number 1 is finished and on your website. And last, complete the Empathy Map. If, as you're working on any of this, you have questions, feel free to let me know. Good luck!